Hello everyone and welcome to another learning session here at Faye Paints. So today I will be painting a honey bee. I was walking out in the garden yesterday and noticed some bees flying around the orchids. And instantly I was inspired to paint them. So immediately I looked up for some tutorial videos and here I am making my first bee painting. So I started with lemon yellow paint for the bee's torso and as far as I can remember this was how they have started painting it. I was so excited to paint this lovely creature I just watched the tutorial maybe like two or three times and then went ahead in painting. So the colors I'll be using for these are uh, lemon yellow, burnt umber for the darker highlights on the torso, and of course black. So bees have this fuzzy furry coat on them. Let's see if I would be able to achieve that. I'm painting just a portion of the torso here to give us space for the wings. I won't be painting the whole section of this. So if you noticed, I left a small space or blank space above. This is where I'm going to paint the wings. So let's just darken this lower part of the torso here with burnt umber. Okay, touch this up. And my paint's still wet so they're bleeding into each other. But I think that's okay as it gives us this fuzzy look. Now for the wings, I just clean my brush and pull this paint up here from the torso. I didn't actually mix any colors for this, I just used the water left on my brush. Let's clean my brush again and let's remove some of the paint here. To make these wings look more thinner, For the head, uh, I don't really know how to attack this. Let's see how I know bees have big eyes. So I'll start with the eyes. Maybe just put some antler here to serve as my guide. So I don't know how big I should make the head. I think this is big enough. Let's make the coat look thicker. Let's Darken a little here. Well, let's make the for the legs. Could anyone tell me how many legs are there in a bee? I forgot to look it up. Is it four or six? Well, I guess I'm doing four, and if it is more, then I guess let's just think that they're stuck in there somewhere. I'm sticking to four. There. So if you're liking this video so far, please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to get updates when I upload a new content. That way, I will be more inspired sharing with you my journey with watercolor painting. So, 
we'll make the antlers antlers there should be two antlers Okay, so making tiny lines for the coat and with thin hair like lines maybe some hair that's sticking out yeah I think this looks like a bee. Well, it is a bee. So I want to make the wings longer and lighter. Just fix this up a little. No funny thing is, up to this point, I have no idea what kind of flower I will be painting. Problem is, I did not plan for the look of the painting. So, let's put one flower here at this corner. So, I suppose this will be the receptacle. I forgot what it's called that part that's keeping the petals together maybe I could research it later or just tell me in the comments below I'm still trying to figure out how I'll make the petals and yeah, maybe just mm, drag it all the way up long as they look like petals then it's a flower i'm sorry guys i really do not have a particular flower in mind i just hope this one here will do justice for the bee and i was so excited to paint the bee i forgot to plan how the painting would look like dear does this look like a flower to you it looks more like a feather duster to me what do you think guys please comment below i'd love to know what your opinion is so yeah i'll just be throwing paint here and there then Fixing up this flower duster. Yeah, it looks like a feather duster. A red one. Oh no, it's an orange one. Maybe put a little stem. And now here I have so little space for a leaf. Okay, now I'm just throwing in some colors. I didn't want the background to be just white. I wanted to try doing a negative painting technique on these blank areas here, but I don't think this is how it's done. No. No, it's not.
maybe we'll do the negative painting on some other sessions i guess i would want to try that too so guess i'll just add some details on this feather duster of ours and if you found this video interesting enough don't forget to like this video and tell me how i've done on the comments below okay well that's it guys again don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for more video updates so just put some highlights on the eyes thank you guys for watching and see you on the next episode